Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, by the Lord God Most High, above all women on earth. For he has so exalted your name that your praise shall be undying on our lips. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you you all. And and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against, against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Sing and, sing and rejoice, O daughter Zion. See, I am coming to dwell among you, says the Lord. Many nations shall join themselves to the Lord on that day, and they shall be his people, and he will dwell among you. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. The Lord will possess Judah as his portion in the Holy Land, and he will choose he will again choose Jerusalem. Silence all mankind in the presence of the Lord. He stirs forth from his holy dwelling. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be God. God. Our responsorial psalm. The Almighty has done great things for me. And holy is his name. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. For he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. The The Almighty Almighty has done great things for me, and and holy holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. The The Almighty Almighty has has done done great things things for me, and holy is his name. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. The The Almighty Almighty has done great things for me and and holy holy is his name. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham, and his children forever. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. Alleluia, alleluia. Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside wishing to speak (coughs) with him. Someone told him, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to the one who told him, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, Here is my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. 
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Father. I had every intention of uh, providing you with a, a, a homily on the presentation of Mary, and then I went and was reading headlines this morning from the news, and one jumped out at me and struck me so odd that I had to, to double check everything, and in doing so, I I had to reconstruct a different homily. And the news article was a, concerning Pope Francis. Yesterday, uh, the 20th, Pope Francis gave an Angelus talk uh, for the solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Universe. And I saw the headline and I thought, honestly, the headline was a joke uh, or a spite. Uh, at Pope Francis. Uh, so I went to the Vatican's official website, vatican.va, and I went to the Angelus and printed out the Angelus itself, his talk from yesterday. I am only proficient in English. My Spanish and Italian is limited, so I had to rely on the official Vatican translation, the English edition. Uh, three paragraphs is the second paragraph that concerns today. Allow me to read it to you. Pope speaking today, yesterday said, I would like to extend a special thought and send my love to these young people. Thank you for having come out in such numbers. As of last year, the local churches observe World Youth Day specifically on the solemnity of Christ the King. The theme, the same as the next World Youth Day in Lisbon, I renew my invitation that you participate in it, is Mary arose and went in haste, taken from St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 1, verse 39. Our Lady did this when she was young, and she tells us that the secret to remaining young is found precisely in these two verbs, to arise and to go. I'm not 100% certain on that, but okay. I like to think of Our Lady who went in haste. She really went quickly. She went in haste. And many times I pray to Our Lady, hey, hurry up and resolve this problem. To arise and to go, not to stay still thinking about ourselves, wasting our lives in chasing after comforts or the latest fads, but to aim for the heights. <clears throat> Get on the move, leaving behind our own fears and to take someone in need by the hand. And this is what really is. I don't know. And today we need young people who are truly transgressives. Young people who are truly transgressives. Nonconformist. Who are not slaves to their mobile phones but who changed the world like Mary, bearing Jesus to others, taking care of others, building fraternal communities with others, <clears throat> making dreams of peace come true. When I saw the headline that the Pope was calling for transgressives, I had no idea. And so I went to double check my own understanding of the word transgressive. Involving a violation of accepted or imposed boundaries, especially those of social acceptability. Violating or challenging socially accepted standards of behavior, belief, morality, or taste. And finally, 
relating to fiction, cinematography, or art in which orthodox cultural, moral, or, and artistic boundaries are challenged by the representation of unconventional behavior and of the use of experimental forms. We need transgressives, nonconformists who change the world like Mary, bearing Jesus to others. I have never in my life associated a nonconformist or a person who commits transgressions with Mary bearing Jesus. I truly do not know, and I don't mean this in a very negative way, I, I truly do not know by this English what Pope Francis was intending when he said this. I, I am lost. If you can figure it out, God bless you, help me out. I don't know. Because to me, my little understanding is, if anything, Mary is an ideal conformist. Her whole life is one of conformity. Conformity in a perfect way to the will of God. So much so that she would say yes at the Annunciation to bearing the word in her womb. That she would say yes to letting him go out and do his mission, which is the redemption of humanity, to sacrifice himself. She would say yes in conformity with God's will, even as a mother who... And no mother wants to see their child suffer, but she is there, accepting the passion, having it take place in her own heart as she watched her son go through it. Mary's life is one of conformity. And the beauty about Mary's life is, even when we come to the celebration of the presentation, those who are closest to Mary also lead a life of conformity. They do not transgress the laws of God. They conform to them. The laws of God move their lives. And we see that with her parents. That's the feast of the presentation today, where we are told by tradition that Saints Joachim and Anne take Mary to the temple and present her in the temple to God when she's about the age of three. And they would go on, not only like a new parents today who bring their kids to the, to the church to be baptized, but they would go on and they would encourage her religious upbringing, her religious education throughout her life, throughout that time that they influence. We have a tendency, uh, and we see this with young families, they'll bring their child to be baptized and then possibly for, for First Holy Communion and Confession, then if you're lucky for Confirmation. That parent is out there encouraging their child in academics, in sports, in dance, in art, and all these other things. But when it comes to the church, religion, which influences the child more than any other thing in the world, Where's that same parent, that same conformity? Mary's parents did that. They're close to Mary. Jesus today in the gospel, in Matthew, he who conforms to my will is my mother, my father, my brother, my sister. Today, as we remember the presentation, we remember Mary's uh, perfect conformity. And we ask her to intercede for us that we may, as we draw closer to her, we may <clears> confirm <throat> to her son, to his will. For that is Mary's role. We hear that today in that beautiful Magnificat, which we used as a responsorial song. Mary says, What? My soul doth magnify the Lord. My soul conforms to the will of God in all things. May we have the courage and the strength to draw close to Mary and in doing so, draw close to Jesus. There's an old Latin saying, at Jesus per Mariam, to Jesus through Mary. May we abide by that today. Now, mighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Coming together as one family in faith, we offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day and those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video and for the needs of you here present in our chapel today. We pray to the Lord. We pray that the infant of Prague will continue to watch over the finances of our parishes and always have enough for what we need. We pray to the Lord. And during this month of November, we pray for the holy souls the souls in purgatory, and for their families, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May your Lord be Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds and the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the, mo the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. To awake the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lay not our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, who gave away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should have my roof, but I will say the word, and my soul shall be Generations will call me blessed, for God has looked on my glories and to me. Let us pray. <clears throat> As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemoration and commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary 
may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Lord, Michael, Lord, Michael, the archangel, defend <coughs> us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him when we humbly pray. And be you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust in hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits, who wander through this world seeking to ruin our souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed, Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of the Great Holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, the Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and angels and his saints.